So there's this guy called the Tech Lead that makes YouTube videos, and he made one a while back that went semi-viral, and it actually spun off into a bit of a meme that became popular in anti-Linux circles, and that is the Tech Lead's belief that Linux is only free if you don't value your time. So the implication here is that with Linux, an OS that is free as in having no monetary cost, you don't have to go to the store and pay for it, it instead requires you to pay for it with your time. Now, I'm a Linux enthusiast, so obviously I have a bit of a bias here that goes in the opposite direction of the tech leads, and I'm fully aware of my bias. And because I have it, I tried to go outside of my bias and see if there is some way that I can understand my opponent's position and why they have it, because otherwise the discussion just devolves into tribal gorillas throwing poo at each other. However, there's only two ways that I've been able to come up with to come to the tech lead's conclusion. And that is by either creating a very specific and rare use case for an end user where they have to use a different OS, which I feel is bordering on straw man territory, or pretending to be ignorant about several fundamental concepts, which are what is Linux, what do end users do on a computer, and how a person's time is valued. So right out of the gate, I'm aware that there are certain applications which only run on Windows or the Mac OS, which some users need to use, and that creates a strict dependence on those proprietary operating systems. This might be something like needing to use Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop to do a task that an alternative like Blender or GIMP is just not capable of doing. But the people who are in these positions are very rare. And if we took a closer look at the type of work that those people are doing, basically they're graphic designers, and it's possible that they could still spend most of their time in Linux using an open source application to do their job. And they only really need Adobe to do those very specific effects. But like I said, these people are not your typical user. Like I said in my tech ecosystem video, most end users are a race car Johnny. They don't really know or care how the computer or OS works. It's simply an ends to a means. And that means is not as complicated as doing graphical design because the beautiful thing about the race car Johnnies of the world is that the majority of them just want to use a web browser. For most of the normies out there using computers, their entire operating system is nothing more than a bootloader for Google Chrome. In fact, during my two years at Geek Squad and my years doing professional and volunteer IT work, I've found that normies really only use the web browser on their PC. They certainly use it 10 times more than any other application. And web browsers are the same on all OSs. In fact, I bet that you could install Linux on a normie's PC, rice it to look like Windows 10 or Windows 7, whichever you know Windows that they're coming from, and they wouldn't even realize what you did until a couple weeks later when they notice that, hey, I have been forced to do an update in a while. Let me go click on the start menu and, oh, I'm using Linux. What is Linux? You know, most people, they it's, it's the same, right? There's no difference to their computing habits, whether they're on Linux or whether they're on Windows. So it's not like you have to waste time with learning how to use Linux. If you're a race car Johnny, you can just install Google Chrome on Linux the same way as Windows and use it to read the New York Times or look at porn or whatever it is that normies do on their PC. Now that we've burned the straw man, let's tackle the lack of understanding. I completely agree that Linux can be a very time-consuming endeavor, but this sinkhole of time only really occurs with advanced distros like Arch or Gentoo, where you are essentially building your own Linux distro from scratch, or in the case of Gentoo, compiling everything from scratch. But not all distros are like this. There are distros like Linux Mint, which are already set up, very user-friendly and similar to Windows, 
And I would actually say that you waste more time with Windows just during the installation process since Microsoft tries to make you create a Microsoft account during the installation process. So you have to put in an email or if you don't want Microsoft to spam you, you have to go create a different email and then you have to enter a confirmation code and it's a whole thing. But with Linux Mint, you don't have to do that. You just install it and then you're done. You see Linux, it's completely different than Windows and the Mac OS because of the distro concept. Linux is only as difficult and time consuming as the distro that you pick. And it's not fair to compare a leet distro like Arch to a Fisher Price toy like Windows, which is what I think people are doing when they try to compare Linux to Windows or Linux to the Mac OS. They're really comparing Arch, but Arch is not Linux. It's just a distro of Linux. This is on the same level of ignorance as saying that driving is a waste of time compared to walking because in order to drive you first have to build your entire car from scratch and make sure it works and make sure that it's compatible with the right type of gasoline and all that stuff. Obviously, most people driving cars did not build their own from scratch. They went and they bought something already built that's tried and true, which is why I recommend Linux Mint to Linux noobs because it's like the Honda Civic of the OS world. It just works and it never breaks down. And I guess I already covered what the end users are doing. They're all in the browser, which is the same on all OSs. Whether you're using Gmail or Office Online, Facebook, whatever browser-based normie activity that you're doing, it's all going to be the same regardless of your OS. And actually, Linux is much more secure against malware that is delivered through the browser, which is a reason why Linux can actually save you a lot more time than using Windows since you're less likely to be hacked on it, you're less likely to have your data shut down or locked up, which is obviously going to waste a lot more time if you're on Windows. And finally, the value of time, which is a very easy concept to understand. And I honestly think that the tech lead is just pretending to not get this. But time is not appraised in the same way that an ounce of gold or a $100 bill is. The value of someone's time is decided by themselves. Maybe it's worth your time to go watch a Marvel superhero movie at the theater. Those movies are, well, they make a lot of money, so most people agree that it's a good way to spend their time. But I'm not really a fan of that movie genre, so it's a waste of time to me, and it would be a waste of my money. Just like I'm sure that those normies think it's a waste of time to compile Gentoo or to patch DWM. But these are things that I like doing. I like to learn it for myself, and then I like to show you guys. Uh, I really enjoy the um, accomplishment of installing Gentoo, of having a minimalist OS, of having things set up just the way that I like. So I consider it to be a good way to spend my time. Maybe you're just not autistic enough to understand it. I mean, it's just like when I was a kid playing with Bionicles. The other kids on the playground thought that Bionicles were just robots to smash into one another. But when I would tell them about the lore and the comic books explaining their origin, they would just glaze over and go back to smashing the robots together. So... Maybe the tech lead, he's just not able to understand our hobbies, but that's okay. I mean, I'm just going to stay over here optimizing Gentoo, and I guess he can stay over there playing with Candy Crush on Windows.